Hey guys, we're here at Francie's Garden and Nursery right outside of Port Washington, Wisconsin. This is actually my first time here. I don't know how I haven't been here before. I didn't even know it existed. But it seems like a really cool place. They have all sorts of different plants here. Um, this whole front area is full of their shrubs, bushes. Um, we've got forsythias, pine trees, some burning bush, some roses, all kinds of stuff up in this whole front area. And then up over in this section right here is all perennials that will go through. There's a whole selection of vegetables over there and then some outdoor flowers, both perennials and annuals over there. And we'll also take you inside today. So let's get to it. Here we have some raspberries, asparagus, strawberries, some currants, and rhubarb down below. Over on this side we have some different perennials, all sorts, American Dream, a tick seed, this is a uh, Coreopsis, Blue Waterfall, Bellflower, Dark Towers, Beard Tongue, these are cool names. A lot of kind of, a lot of plants that you don't really see. There's Bee Balm, that's a typical one that I'm sure most of you have in your gardens. If you don't, you should get Bee Balm, a great pollinator plant. Bee Balm is a great pollinator plant. Couple different lavenders, some lilies. Again, if you remember from a video I put up last week, Larkspur, one of my all time favorites. There's a few different blanket flowers here. Hollyhocks, those put off a beautiful flower. Trumpet vine. Back over here, we have a couple plants that we have in our garden, uh, still be and ladies mantle. We have those planted in a partly shaded area back along our eastern facing fence line. And there's clematis and passion flower. Those I'm sure you recognize those climbing vining flowers, the clematis. There's all sorts of different varieties that can give you a lot of different color variations with that. They'll come back every single year, nice and strong. Great plant to have. My grandma has had hers next to her house for many, many, many years and is actually the inspiration for uh, when we planted our clematis in the garden. And there is bleeding hearts. Bleeding hearts is a great plant. They like part shade, um, pretty neutral soil. But it's a very hardy perennial. You shouldn't have problems as long as it doesn't get sunburnt. Usually they're okay anywhere in the garden. We have this goldfish pond here. Uh, I said they're about to get them in next week. So I'm sure next time we're here they'll probably have them. Um, there's some stone crop and then Semper Vivum varieties growing along the rocks here. I'll give you a close up look. There's a Semper Vivum, and then a stone crop. You can see the couple different colors here. This has that dark red hue that I just love in stone crop. When you get that, it just expresses itself in a, a really cool way. Uh, and here's a different variety over here. I don't know the names of them, but um, you can see distinctively that there's two different varieties. Actually, three. Here's a, I don't know if that's a stone crop for sure. But that's different. That's got like a variegated edges to it. And then these little flowers here, I don't know what they are, but we got a bunch of those back behind our house um, that look like they've just been growing for years and years. They're kind of spreading into the yard and everything. Uh, so, a cute little flower. I know those grow natively here.
Right in front of me here we have a perennial geranium. Uh, this is a geranium microsium. Uh, cool, I didn't actually know that there was perennial geraniums around here. Interesting. Then next to it there is a goat's beard and then some more a stilby right there and some corabels and then some hostas along over this way. Hostas of course are a staple in a garden for anywhere you have a really shaded area you can plant those in there and they'll do great. When looking at the hostas this one really caught my eye. That's a blue mouse ears. Looking at the picture you see it has a really like bluish turquoise tint to it so that could be an interesting plant to have in the garden right now we have just a, like a variegated hosta just like those ones planted in our backyard these tables right here and then this right here is all uh, vegetables and herbs they have tomatoes peppers kohlrabi brussels sprouts pumpkins cucumbers you name it. Uh, today we're getting some eggplants, some squash, cucumbers, onions, a couple different tomato varieties. My grandma had recommended the early bird, so we're gonna, or excuse me, early girl, so we're gonna get some of those. And then we have broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kohlrabi, and one zucchini plant because we always have way too many um, and I don't think we miss anything that's about all we're gonna get for vegetables today this will take up our raised garden bed in the backyard um, there's some dianthus salvias marigolds and then among this mix is the snapdragon Ooh, you guys know my all-time favorite formation just like that here's some salvia right here you look at that really deep violet color I mean this is no color correction on this thing it looks so good just a gorgeous color there especially alongside this this pink uh, what is this here uh, Beliza Beliza the dark pink Beliza I'm not going to pretend like I know those flowers because I never heard of them before. Sometimes you'll never stop learning or never stop forgetting the names of plants. I know we're all guilty of that. And inside this greenhouse they have all of the annuals. All kinds of flowers here. A few different ivies, begonias, geraniums, some ornamental grasses some sweet potato vines and there's a this caught my eye back here there's a wasabi I hear this right one right there a lot of these are from proven winners which you guys are well aware of is a one of the most popular uh, brands when it comes to supplying greenhouses you see them at almost every greenhouse around um, proven winners is a good good company and very happy with a lot of the different varieties that they've been coming out with over the years so yeah lots of beautiful annuals you see all the hanging baskets and everything as well a great mix and a really good variety Ooh, this look like the universe right there. That's incredible. Those are just crazy. Wow, I hope you guys enjoy those. That just, that blows me away. Wow. Beautiful flower. Let's see what these are called. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, there. Uh, Petunia Headliner Night Sky. You can see why it's called Night Sky, obviously. Really cool. These are cannas. If you've never planted them before or seen them, um, they grow to, I think, like 48 inches tall. Um, 
put off that beautiful flower up on top. And then there's also a couple different varieties of basil in here as well. Silver Falls. That's a great one. Usually you see this inside of hanging planters because it'll grow nice and long and, and uh, fall down the side. Kind of like the, the Creeping Jenny right there. I love Creeping Jenny. You can just throw it anywhere and it'll grow. It'll grow. That and uh, Sedum sarmentosum is one of my favorite like ground cover plants. Something that'll just like take over an area. Creeping Jenny or Sedum sarmentosum check those out I have I don't know if I have a video on the creeping Jenny I possibly do but definitely uh, sedum sarmentosum so now here we are inside uh, they have a couple of different succulent planters here some aeoniums there, there we go aeoniums some blue chalk stick echeverias Some laurel over there, bay laurel. That's a nice plant to have in the garden. I actually don't have any bay laurel. Um, here's a cool little bird cage in there and everything. I like these birch tree hangers that they have. It's a cool setup. Um, you can pretty much throw on anything you want over there, just like this one. They have good stuff, cute little hut over there. And then back over here, we have some even bigger moonstones, some stacking crassula, a couple little decor items along the side as well. And they have seed and fertilizer, a couple other decor items inside here. A little bit of everything you might need in the garden and the house. Well, thank you guys all so much for watching. We had an awesome haul of vegetables and it's time to get these things planted. If you've liked this video, please subscribe for much more to come. We've got annuals, perennials, indoor plants, outdoor plants, fruits, vegetables, succulents, and so much more. Thank you guys all so much for watching and happy gardening.